Oh yeah. Also, when I was in Vegas the other week, uh, we went to an It escape room with like a Pennywise It Chapter One themed escape room. I've never done an escape room before. That that was a pretty interesting experience. I used to have a mental note that like two things I never wanted to be asked to do, just because it seemed like a, the worst thing in the world to me at the time for some reason. But this is like 2014. This is like. This is a different guy we're talking about here. A different social being, dude. My social skills might not be what they used to be, but that is a great thing. You should have seen what they- You did see what they used to be, actually. So I've made my point, I guess. <laughs> oh yeah, the two things I never wanted to be asked to do were to go get sushi. I, I just guessed that that was super gross to me. I love sushi now. I mean, I, love is a strong word. I only like, like, two things, but I've- You know, I like those two things, and they're good. And I'd eat them- Whenever. The sushi thing and then the escape room thing. And I don't know why that is, but I guess the idea of doing an escape room does sound pretty horrible. But I went into it knowing that I was going to be high and useless the whole time. And just focus on trying not to be scared. Because Pennywise, a pretty terrifying concept. Actually, one of the earliest scary monsters I remember freaking... I never even saw the original freaking It movies, the Stephen King ones, even though I have them on my shelf. But I remember Stephen, my roommate, told me about them when we were like seven years old and freaking how scared he was of It the Clown. And it was just the most terrifying thing. Anyway, but yeah, it was pretty freaking cool. I have seen the new reboot movies and it was a, it was a pretty cool escape room i mean i really didn't help with any of the puzzles but i stood around there was a lot of fog the whole freak you were not allowed to record anything so i feel like it doesn't matter because i'm doing it such good justice with my description in my world building and my auditory uh, phenomenal isn't it crazy how phenomenals come into the delivery anyway but yeah it was like a foggy mess and you just like had to try to find the puzzles on the walls and it was crazy mm -hmm. and look behind you and like ooh scary clown but i didn't i've never been to a freaking escape room but i have been to like halloween horror nights and i know they like something there's like people out there who really like that kind of adrenaline shit and you know like they want to sign the waiver and like get go really far with it and like get touched i have no interest in anything like that but i didn't know what we agreed to honestly i didn't read all of it i just figured it would be fine but i didn't know if they were gonna like tap me on the shoulder or freaking knock me out and throw me away the key or something so i was kind of just on edge the whole time trying to see what was around me and keep away from some Spooky guys! Uh, but yeah, there, it, there was nothing extreme about it. So freaking, I was probably just worried for nothing. But it was a good time. A good freaking time. I'm trying to think if there's any other Las Vegas tales.